Great. So a couple more examples of algebraic expressions and simplifying them. Um, so this guy is 4 times 6 times y. Um, and so again, we're going to be able to use some of the one, one or some of these properties of numbers uh, to simplify this. So according to these properties, I've got all multiplication here. Um, and so according to my property, these properties, it, the associative property says I can multiply, instead of doing the 6 times the y first, I can multiply the 4 times the 6 first. Okay? And that's nice because I can do 4 times 6. Um, 4 times 6 gives me 24. And so this guy just simplifies down to 24 times y, or 24y. Uh, the next <coughs> example I have is a little bit more complicated. I have negative 4 times the quantity of w plus 8, right, that w plus 8 in parentheses. And so do you see which property I might want to use on this guy to make it a little bit simplified? Uh, so I've got, the key is I've got multi something multiplied by two things added together. That looks an awful lot like this distributive property that I have here. Um, so what that set distributive property says is that this is the same thing as if I took the negative 4, right, and multiplied it by the w, so I get ne which gives me negative 4w, and then I also added that to negative 4 times positive 8, which gives me a negative 32. So I have negative 4w plus negative 32, um, or you could rewrite that's the same thing as negative 4w minus 32. Well, so we're adding the opposite. That's the same thing as subtracting the opposite. All right, and so that is pretty much it. All you need to know about solving algebraic expressions. So now we can use what we've learned here to help us be able to solve equations.